A brain aneurysm is a weakening or ballooning of a blood vessel or artery in the brain, and the balloon can pop similar to a water balloon, causing a life-threatening brain hemorrhage. Brain aneurysms are relatively common, affecting 1 in 50 or 2 percent of the adult population in America. Around 30,000 Americans may have a ruptured brain aneurysm every year. Most people will never know they have a brain aneurysm unless they get imaging for another reason or if it were to rupture. Most brain aneurysms do not require urgent or emergent treatment. It is something that we can follow in the office with routine outpatient evaluations and imaging appointments. We generally will treat a brain aneurysm if it starts to grow or other neurologic symptoms such as headaches or signs or symptoms of stroke were to occur. If a brain aneurysm were to bleed or rupture, that is something that we would want to treat in an urgent manner. There are different types of treatments, one being the standard open microsurgical surgery where we have to make an incision behind the hairline and remove a window of bone and go down to where the brain aneurysm is and close it off with a clip from the outside. Now, many brain aneurysms can be treated in a minimally invasive way through the blood vessels of the arm, through the blood vessels of the neck and into the brain and can be closed off from the inside with tiny little coils or stents. Many of our elective brain aneurysm patients that require treatment could be treated in a minimally invasive way with a small needle stick through the blood vessel in their arm. They spend one night in the hospital and go home the following day with a small band-aid as their only evidence that they had a brain surgery.